Hello, welcome to another pop video. This week I'm gonna play Tribe. So I believe it was four Sturf. I probably should have looked this up before I said anything. Uh, that managed to five zero with this current list of Tribe. So I've been picking new cards. So like I've been playing Demand Dances and whatnot. But the other card that saw a little bit of hype behind it from uh, MKM that. I don't think anyone else has really played, has been uh, Escape Tunnel. So it lets you have an unblockable creature, well, a, a small unblockable creature, uh, just for a, a land slot, which is quite unique. And some people were thinking of run it in ninjas or whatnot just to sneak an extra damage through. But the best thing to do with it is uh, Tribe. So... It works pretty well in this deck because uh, we run Brainstorm as well. So if you don't need the unblockability, you can always shuffle away some dead cards. So both its uses are good. You just got to remember to actually use it on your tribe before you like buff its power and flip it with Inside Out. Otherwise it will fizzle. <laughs> well, you won't be able to target it. Um, so that's part of our land package. So this used to run... This deck used to run uh, Ash Barons, but it doesn't anymore. It just runs Escape Tunnel because it is an Ash Barons, but also is a Wedding Invitation. So sort of dual purposing here, which I think it's I think it's got a good home here. Uh, the rest of the deck, so we're running. So the old one I ran had a couple of Tylus, I mean a couple of Thraben Inspectors and some Prismatic Strands main. So this one has decided so Forstuff has decided to not play those cards instead they're running uh four archaeologists which is uh great well probably actually let's let's talk about tribe so tribe is our win condition it's pretty much the only way we can win there is almost no other way to win other than in the sideboard we have mystic so we pretty much have to have this some way of getting it unblockable, be it uh, Escape Tunnel or Wing Invitation or Shadow Rift. Uh, we then, like, make it unblockable, swing in. Once it's, like, unblocked, we then flip its power and toughness. And then we need to have usually five cards in hand. Because when we we can discard a card to give it plus four plus... Well, plus four plus oh until end of turn once Inside Out's gone. So we discard five cards, it gets to 21. So that's the goal. Uh, if we don't have five cards in hand, so if they go above the 21, or if they're... Like, we can chip in with Tyler's Tribe if they're not doing anything else. We might be able to get them to 16, I mean 17, in which we only need four cards in hand. Uh, but if they get above that, we either need to get to, like, seven cards or we need to get white out. So white out is this random green card that... Uh, you can sacrifice a land to return it to your hand, or a snow land. That's why we're running all snow lands, bar escape tunnel, obviously. Uh, so it converts each of your lands into a card. So each of your lands produces, uh, yeah, four power. So usually around this point, you get to like five, four to five lands. So that's an extra, what, 16 to 20 damage. So we can knock people out from like 40 if... We do get to that point uh, to help, and then now we now we'll get to archaeologist. So uh, archaeologist is here because it helps uh, dump cards into a graveyard, which is good for whiteout because it's you want it in your graveyard anyway. It's pretty useless in hand. Uh, it can dump deep analysis to be able to flash it back, but it's also there just because uh, brainstorm. You can put some cards on top and so you can put like back something you want or something you're fine with losing like a white out or whatever and hope you hit something else and then dump the rest in the graveyard uh and dumping things in the graveyard is good because of those two cards and also because circular logic is a main counter spell and it matters about how many cards we got in our graveyard so uh we do have a lot of cantrips to fill the graveyard up but archaeology just helps like turbo this up a bit more uh, we have the complete uh, cantrip package of 12 cantrips of 4 Brainstorm, 
which is great with the shuffle, the shuffle, the archaeologist, and Lauren revealed for the more shuffle. Uh, we are running four ponder, which also good with the shuffle, and four preordain because it's the best cantrip in pauper. Um, and then so we're running four Lauren revealed because it helps fix our mana base and can also get an extra like go from one it gains you two cards so that's an extra 10 power if you need to get to that point uh if the game's gone long and you need to get tribe up to that uh and then we got a pile of funky one ops so we've got one lauren's escape which is there against red decks so if they got client clan shaman you need to be able to uh use this first on your tireless tribe to make it indestructible so they'll sacrifice their shaman so you'll keep buffing the toughness with each sacrifice that they do uh so then you'll be able to live the shaman and then it'll die and then it'll be indestructible so when you flip the power of toughness it'll be alive with like six damage or four damage or whatever's on it so you really need this against the red decks which is why it's a one of you can try and dig for it or you could just try and pop off without it uh like it works for other burn spells as well but shaman's the one where you gotta like keep triggering this uh one of dispel and one of spell pierce because we need a pile of counter spells running four circular logic but having one mana ones is good going for a split here uh because sometimes people run sorcery speed removal so like trying to counter a blade or whatnot or an edict effect uh or just like counter a wellspring to try to make them stumble. I'm running a one of peak, which is pretty funny. So you can see what removal they're working with uh, before you sort of commit the tribe to the board, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, like Gitaxian probe for one mana. Who would have thought? Uh, talk about Shadow Rift and Wedding Invitation. Uh, one muddled the mixture. So. It's a transmute card. Usually they ran like Dizzy Spell to be able to get a Tireless Tribe or like a Shadow Rift or something. Uh, Muddle the Mixture is a counter spell that can either get you wide out or inside out or Wedding Invitation for that matter. So if you found the Tribe and you need to either get more damage, hit the combo or get unblockability, this can help you get there. I think it's pretty fine just because it gets you three different things. Dizzy Spell only ever really got you Tireless Tribe, so I was never happy with Dizzy Spell. Um, this seems fine. I'm happy enough to give this a shot. Uh, and that's the main deck. Uh, sideboard, we have one Strands. We don't have that many white creatures. We've only got Tribes. That's why we're not really running that many. It's still good against red decks, though. Um, I guess, like, a white weenie and whatnot just to be able to stabilize for a couple of turns. Another Lauren's Escape for the Red Decks. I already explained what that does. Uh, so three Murmuring Mystic. Uh, because we rely way too much on Tribe, uh, we'll have... We've got Murmuring Mystic for the... Like, Fae. This deck is really bad against Fairies. So, Murmuring Mystic's for Fairies and probably any other, like, heavy removal-based deck to actually have a chance <laughs> instead of relying on one creature. Uh, Echoing Truth, just for problematic permanence. I'm, I took this list. I don't exactly know when I'd bring this in, to be honest. Uh, piracy Chance for Standard Bearer. You cannot win <laughs> with Inside Out if you have to target a Standard Bearer. So I guess Echoing Truth is also for Standard Bearer, but it has more like broader applications as well. Um, Hydro Blast, pretty obvious. Red Dexter is still everywhere, not as much as they used to be. Uh, Giga Drowse for the control decks to be able to get them to tap out so you can kill them on their turn or kill them on your turn. And another Dispel because one of my interactions is good. Uh, yeah, that's the deck. Let's see if we can get some nice turn two combo kills like we did last time. <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen, but we'll see. All right. Round one versus Incontestavel. Incontestavel? I don't even know. It seems okay. I can get white with these. I can brainstorm, shuffle away. Yeah, it seems good.
think I always brainstorm first. I can do it on their turn. Uh, Bogel, okay, this is going to be rough if they gain some life. That's that's a lot of lower in reveals. Right, I'm gonna put stuff in my upkeep. One at Virgil, no Lando. Yep. Okay. This is good. Means the clock is slow. I've got a bit of time. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's probably. F Fine to have in a couple of turns. So I think I put back. I might even draw one of these again. May not need circular logic. So I'll put that back first, then the Lauren revealed. And I won't stop on my upkeep. I'll draw the Lauren Revealed. Just so I have another land. Play Glacier Floodplain. Pass. That's fine. Hit me for three, then I can play tribes and they can't attack, but then I can't really... Well, I suppose I can attack in. Okay, so we play tribe. Uh, we get another... Island. And pass. We only need five cards in hand. Apparently got six. Perfectly fine. You gonna hit me? Yep, sure. They just gotta hope I don't have it, which is fair. So I just take five. And we just kill him. Uh, yeah, get rid of muddle. I'll keep the spell pierce in hand. One more. Attack for twenty one. GG. Okay. Alright, Hexproof. Dispel is not great. Incoming Truth is probably okay. I think I like Strands. Strands is definitely good. Put Mary Mystics. I think that's good enough. It's just a it's just a race. Alright, no tribe. But I've got two land strands brainstorm. I think this is fine to keep. It's a little clunky. Well, I guess I'm relying a little too much on this brainstorm here, but maybe I should have cited this out too. It probably costs too much to transmute, and it doesn't really counter anything they've got. Deck is pro. Bogel. Okay. All right. That's one part of the combo.
I think I still brainstorm. Spirit link. Yee. Okay. It does make... Well, it's only a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> that doesn't really matter that much at this point. Just always yield. So there's still... So I'm going to need an extra card in hand at some point. The Jolly. Alright, I guess I keep the lands... I'll probably mill this muddle because I've already got the inside out. I guess I can mill the strain. I'd rather keep the strains in hand. So we'll go with these two. So I should draw the wedding invitation. Uh, and then we mill. And then we at least hit muddle if we don't hit anything else relevant. Sweet, we'll take the Lauren revealed. Into Armadillo Cloak or Ancestral Mask? Armadillo Cloak, okay. So they gain six life. Hmm. Look, the clock's not much, but it's going to be hard for me to kill him. <laughs> Okay, I think... Okay, we'll just play this. Then we'll just pass. We'll see what they do. I might have to circular logic. Or I can just strand. I think I've got a circular logic that. Another one, okay. All right, six, six with trample. All right. Is it gain 12? Okay. I'm going to need like 10 cards. Alright, so I'm going to ponder. I'm going to try to find the tribe. There it is. So, escape doesn't matter. Get a ponder if we need it. No. Play land. I think now I've got a strands. And then I can play tribe. Flashback strands. And I gotta find a um That's fine. <laughs> I've got to find a white out. Because white out will give me four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm still two cards short. I'll draw a card. At some point. Okay, so now we tribe. We ponder. Uh, none of these are fantastic. But I'll take the preordain. And then we shuffle. We did, 
yeah, I've got to play lands. We've got to, we need a white out. Don't want either of these. We get a land. Okay. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which I'll have. Okay, so I just pretty much need to draw the white out. Uh, blue, blue or green doesn't matter. That's my only strands, so I can't rely on another strands. So I guess we just have to go for it. Ooh. I think Fajali doesn't get me there. Oh no, it will. So I'll have five. No, I'll be. I'll be one card short. Oh no, it should replace itself. Well, it digs me the furthest, so I've got to play that, right? Alright, white out. Hmm. I think I'm just dead. Why that won't help me anymore? Yep, it was a scoop. Too much life. Could do twenty. Was it in the next three? No. All right, that's what happens. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the um, muddle the mixture. So Lauren escapes pretty useless too. So maybe don't need that. So maybe just bring in Echoing Truth because that will stabilize me a little. It gives me another option other than just strands. I'll take out the model. Alright, we'll try this. Would like to go first? Uh, hmm. There's a whole lot of nothing. I think I got a mulligan. Okay, this is better. We can keep this. I'll put back the tap land. Actually, I don't need a second tribe. Just play tribe. <laughs> if we draw a um, inside out, we win. You never know; it could happen. I mean, echoing tree is pretty funny. Uh, I think it's still Falaji. Yeah, Preordain, keep deep analysis in the graveyard. Seems good. I'll attack for one. I think it's just deep analysis next turn. Like, I could hold up a going truth. Yes. To ethereal armor to nothing okay well we did well last time they kept a one lander take your logic's interesting I think I still want to draw three cards two cards pay three life <laughs> escape tunnel 
doesn't really help me. Just play tap land. And I'll take with tribe. That won't block. Right, so now the armadillo cloak. Am I just ledge walker? Sure. Anchor. Okay. All these are fine. Can't attack me. Inside out. Do I get a land out now? Probably. Preordain. Don't want either of these. Okay. I drew one anyway. Um, because they take with tribe. They're putting they're putting things on the ledge walker if they do get anything. Okay. Well, I guess I lose a card. This cantrips, so I don't think I need the escape tunnel. I'd rather keep double counter spell. Then maybe I'd, oh, if I draw another land, I can just Lauren reveal at some point, I guess. Bogel, sure, sure. Where's all your auras? I feel like that's what your deck's supposed to be doing. Um, I, th I guess I logic it. Keep the clock low. They've had multiple green, multiple turns, so if they've got a Rancor, that's fine. Can you pay the four? Yep, sure. I'm fine with that hitting me. Be good. That's not really that great. I need to keep this because I got rid of the escape tunnel. I sort of want to keep this because I want to, so I literally can't do anything. So we just pass. I'll get to a turn where I have to just try and combo off, so. Spirit Link. It's quite annoying. Three cards left. Guess I get rid of it. It does make my
clock really rough. It is, yeah, all right. All right, now I need white out again. Lands, brainstorm, brainstorm's fine. Tribe inside out. Do I need tribe? I'll put Lauren revealed on top, I think. So I can. So I need to wait one more turn. So I just hope that they don't hit a... something that gives them life gain. And then I can hit him for... 21. I'm one damage short. <laughs> I can hit him for 17. That's fine. All right, we take those. And then another creature. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, come on. Still a damage short. Okay. Just past turn. I gotta hope they don't hit an aura that kills me. Just be a creature. Okay. All right. Be something irrelevant. Yes. Yes. Go to one. Okay. I'm gonna shuffle away the tribe. I get to keep the same amount of cards in hand, so it doesn't really matter. I might draw something more relevant. Okay, I do not play this. I see what they're working with. <laughs> what have you got? A forest. Excellent. All right. That's what we wanted to see. So now we just inside out this. And we shadow rift. And we just got five cards.
Oh, it would it would just scrape through. It was probably a point where I didn't need to counter something. Or maybe discarding the escape tunnel was the problem. I'm not too sure. But we got there. A little, little bit of luck. A little bit of luck gets you there. Cool. All right. One zero up. Let's hope we don't go up against any black decks. All right. Round two versus Bongo four four one. I don't know if that's what they're meant to do, but that's what I want to call it. Uh, always go first. We've got a pile of cantrips. We can keep this. Uh, I think we ponder and we can shuffle away if we don't need them. Um, guess I can keep muddle. I mean, they're all fine. Maybe I don't, I don't think I want to land because technically this this is going to be a blue white land. So I'll put that on the bottom. Muddle does get me inside out if I need it. <laughs> I'll, we'll, we'll draw it. I'll shuffle away the land. Get a glacial plane. So this means I've got enough cards in hand. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we do not want either of those. Peak. Eh, it's probably, well, maybe we keep that for another turn. Just put it in again. Uh, both of these are pretty good. So we will draw them both. Just peek at their hand. Double snuff out is going to be rough. <laughs> okay. And next turn they're going to play Murray Mystic. Or a Thorn, probably. So, like, I've got Indestructible and a Counterspell. So if I hit a Tribe, I don't do it this turn because I need to keep both of them up for the two Snuff Outs. Which we do not hit. But Falaji is probably fine. Can mill the Plains. Shuffle my library. Nah, that's fine. And we'll we'll Falaji. Take Honda. Probably should have kept up a blue source, but that's fine. Right, so now they're going to tap out to play Thorn, probably. Yeah. Should have maybe kept a counter on this, because I could have made unblockable and stole the Marky. Let's 
Okay, well, I guess we play it. And hope for the best. Even though I don't have... Um... Sure. Yes, I ponder. Secular logics are good. Actually, all of these are good. I do need an inside out, though. Guess I take brainstorm. We'll use it. We'll put back. Can't I can't afford to muddle. I guess I don't really need white out at this point. Maybe I do. Cause I'm gonna have to start countering a lot of stuff. I can put back that and then we'll shuffle. And just pass. Okay, so now we discount circular logic. So that's one snuff out gone. Didn't do it again? Okay, I might have put it, I might have put the other one back. But now they've probably got a counter spell. So maybe I should have used this. Ninja? Oh, it's Faye. Okay. Go, it's fine. I really should use this. I can't. Uh, I've got to keep up Lauren's escape. Okay, escape tunnels. Mildly handy. Brainstorm first. There's inside out and another tribe. But now I need a counter spell. I guess I put back Shadow Rift. I should have just used Lauren's Escape. Oh, I'm a fool. I'm a fool, I'm a fool. Okay. So I guess I don't need Shadow Rift. And I don't need the other tribe. So now we ponder. And shuffle. There's a counter spell. But it's going to be, they're going to be, I needed to do it like this turn. I've got counter spell up. I'll just pass. 
pass and cry. If I'd, if I'd used Lauren's escape, if they'd shuffled away, like, the snuff out, then we'd be fine. If they let the auger, if they ninja the auger, at least then... They might cast the auger and it'll make them use up more mana. That one, all right, attempt to Lauren's escape. We've got a Fae coming. Counter spell, all right, well. Counter spell, your counter spell. I mean, I probably should have counted the snuff out. There's another snuff out. Yeah, well, I can't deal with I can't deal with triple snuff out. Uh, so let's mystic for these mid-range matchups. Take out oh, muddles. Okay, I'll take out one wide out because I'm less likely to combo, and it just does nothing. It'll be on Fey if they're running Ninja, so the dispels aren't too great. Is Lauren's escape worth it too? Probably not. I'll take out one Archaeologist. Because I'm bringing in three creatures. I need to be able to have my instant sorcery count be high for Mystic. Oh, white out. Why are you here? Uh, I, I guess. Hopefully Ponder finds me something. Eh, it's something. Go Ponder, land Ponder. Yeah, Faye, okay. Figured it was Faye. Faye's always the roughest matchup for this deck. Hey, there's a tribe. Um, don't think I want to play it without any sort of protection. Keep it in hand, though. So I can have Dispel and Circular Logic up. Ninja? Yeah, cool. Alright. That was best case scenario. So I can play this planes, play tribe, pass. Then I have escape tunnel, inside out, white out. Like I've got, yeah, I've got unblockable plus lip. I think I'm fine with them hitting me. Actually, I'll just I'll block. This whiteout's useless in hand. If I'm going to go off next turn, I'm going to go off, so... I'd rather than not try and hit the swamp that they'll obviously get with this for snuff out.
Okay, so now they might have Snuff Out and a Counter Spell back up. I've got to go for it, I think. I don't think... I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Ooh. Now... Do I play the escape tunnel? Because if they play a Fey to block, or they're going to have Snuff Out. Snuff Out but counter spell. So I can. So there's two options here. If they've got a spell starter to block, then I need escape tunnel. If. They've got like snuff out plus counter spell back up. I need double counter spell. I think I just go with the Fey route. And I've got to keep circular logic in case it is a fey. Because they can't counter that with a spell stutter. Twenty-one. Yep. Any kind of spell. Yep. That's just that cannot beat snuff out. It's just how it goes. All right, on to round three. All right, round three versus Zoyo. Zoyo. Uh, well, we've got tribe, so we'll we'll keep. Can't do it till turn three. But it should be okay, especially against a white deck. Oh, maybe not. They might have um. So let's try into Onda. It might have a journey. But I've got another second tribe anyway. Uh, sure, these are fine. Don't want that though. Put Ponder on top. Alright, no journey. Just play a course guy fisher. I'll take that too. Sacred cat is fine. This is some sort of bully list. I wonder what they're gonna have for one mana. Alright. Let's just see if it works. All right, go, go, escape tunnel. All
Uh, and then we just buff it up. Get to 21, and then attack. You can do it during combat, but I don't know, I just find it easier to do it this way. Sometimes you might accidentally miss the trigger. Sure. <laughs> I was I was mildly concerned. I was wondering why they were keeping up one mana. I didn't know what it could be. Ended up being nothing. All right, white weenie. Uh, we'll bring in strands. I guess I don't know. We probably don't need strands, actually. I might bring in a piracy charm. They look like the kind of deck that would run standard bearer. Lawrence Escape. It doesn't... They have anything? I don't think so. So we'll just run with this. Uh, yeah, this is okay. It's not a turn three kill, but there's not many of those hands. Big cat, it's annoying. Uh, we'll preordain first. Both these are pretty good. It's just white weenie. The cat's gonna get annoying. Do I just Archaeologist in the blind? Might ponder first. It's an escape tunnel. And an inside out. Both of which I want. I do not want this. Shame I can't hit a white this turn. I don't want that. Does it go like this? Pass, keep up spell pierce, which I doubt will be relevant, but you never know. Hit two. Doggy, sure. Didn't hit a land. Uh, do I brainstorm? I get to mill away like one bad card. Yeah, I guess. So I put back these two. And we archaeologist. Get peak. Don't think I need a second inside out. And then I think I just wanna get a goddamn planes. So I can actually play this tribe out. So I've still got five, five ways of making this unblockable. I've got Wedding Invitation, uh, 
Shadow Rift and three more Escape Tunnel. I'll be trying to figure out if it's worth cracking the clue to hit the third land. Probably stuck with a pile of buglers in hand or something. It doesn't matter what I block. Oh, yeah, sure. Still no land? There we go. Alright. Boris Garrison 2. So we play this. And I'm going to peek at their hand. Because I'm curious as to what they've got. Pile of journeys. Alright. So I need to keep up double counter spell. So I'll draw another card with that. Above 21. So now I pretty much need a wide out. Uh, 20, uh, six cards. Yeah, okay, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, One journey gone. The second journey. Peak's pretty cool. I do like seeing what they've got to know if I can have to leave up mana or whatnot. Tank with everything. I guess they can't... I guess they won't want to attack with this. Because I can kill it with the tribe. But then they can't attack with... Alright, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Because if they attack with just them two, then it's not doing anything. All right, so we block here and here. We take one. Deep analysis. It's a good card, so let's do that. All right, let me just pass. Hopefully I don't have the third journey. It's cost one to equip. Yeah. It's pretty fun. You should play that. It's a good card. And it stops this from, yeah, blocking. You gotta keep something back to block. Otherwise they're just dead. I need six cards in hand, which I currently do, so I can consume one card. I'll just bring back the cat, okay. Take with everything. Alright, so I need I need something that gives unblockable. So let's brainstorm, none of which these do, so uh, I guess Muddle does. Am I dead to anything? I 
could be. So I think I put these two back. We transmute this. We get wedding invitation. Play this floodplain and pass. And hope I don't die. Or and hope they don't have the third journey. Sword is equipped. Oh, it's just another one. Okay. Yep. Equip both. Yep. So that means I need an extra card. What's this extra one mana? Yep, okay. So I get to do 28. So we should be fine. Attack with everything to both my creatures tap. They gain three. So we play Wedding Invitation. We insert out this. We make it unblockable. We discard everything. Cool. And we get there. Ooh. Sweet. Alright. That was... I feel that's favourable. Like, not much interaction, and the clock was relatively slow, so... It's how you... Well, you just... Well, and the, the turn three helped. <laughs> Game one. Alright. Let's see if we can keep this up. All right, round four. Yeah. Um, hmm. This is keepable. Got two things. I think I have to lead on this glacial floodplain. Up against Jose Guillermo. Uh, just play that. White is always good to see. Cycle Ash Barrens 4, Forest. Up against Hexproof again. We are too, okay. Well, it's not fantastic. So let's reordain. Escape Tunnel Peak. I've got a wedding invitation. I don't think I need the Escape Tunnel. I just need to find Inside Out. Commune is fine. Into what are we doing? Rancor. Sprawl plus nothing? Okay. Shadow Rift doesn't help, so let's preordain. Whiteout's not needed. Yet. <laughs> it might do if they gain a bucket load of life. Uh, and then 
we will just archaeologist because it digs us deeper. Oh, uh, oh, I don't think I can waste a turn to muddle. I think I've got to just cut it, just rip it off the top. It's an interesting decision, for sure. Maybe I should have kept it into Rancor. Yep, okay. So now the life gain is rather extreme. Escape tunnels not needed. So I guess we brainstorm. <laughs> what a rip. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I think I'm just gone. So even if I did, like, get the muddle to cycle, they're probably going to gain a bucket load more. I can shuffle, but the draw doesn't really help. I think I need to preordain. Put them both on the bottom and hope it's on top. No, okay. I guess I'll just play a wedding invitation. Not great either. Alright, just hope that it's not... I hope it's not a double armadillo cloak, because I'm never going to be able to kill bust that. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. I'm unblockable anyway. 31. I don't even know how many... I think. Now I need to hit both. Uh, that doesn't help me. I need to hit both of these cards. Which I can do, because I can draw a card. Did we get out of it? Oh, I draw it off of the thing anyway. Um, off the inside out. So I make this unblockable. Then we discard this. So now we can just discard everything. And hopefully we get enough. Oh, yeah, we got it. Easy, easy. See, it's 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 just that easy. Whew. Okay. We got out of that one. <laughs> we hit the two cards we needed. And they didn't have enough to kill me. Alright, this comes in... And so we take out Muddle because it's too slow. Bring in Piracy Charm because they have Standard Bearer that I forgot about last time. And I think I don't think Lauren's Escape does much. And then we can Echoing Truth as well if we want to, which is what we did last time. But I think this is good enough. I guess peak's not really needed. Actually, dispel's bad, so we take out dispel. There we go. All right, go with that. All right. Uh, 
no unblockable. But we can cast this turn three to try to kill them turn four. And they're mulliganing, so it's generally a good sign. I mean, Tribe's just like uh, Hexproof, but with Expert Steps, right? <laughs> it's just Hexproof with counter spells. Sprawl is fine. Alright, so they had two cards. We'll see if I get destroyed by a two-card Hexproof hand. Let's get a Glacial Plug Plane. Into nothing. Ooh, okay. Oh, now I draw that. Uh, I guess I still. Maybe I just let's let's peek. What are you playing with here? Okay. Ooh, they could put an armadillo cloak on it. So play the tribe so they don't try to attack in. Rancor is fine. Can attack? Yeah, they can't. But I can. <laughs> Alright, we attack. Are they going to block? They do not. Alright, well, they're just dead. Oh man, my client is lagging something severe. Yeah, all right, three one. All right, <laughs> we've beaten up on some white decks, and we've and we've lost to the deck with black removal. So it's pretty much how I expect Tribe to go. It'll be interesting if we play against a red deck, because that's the one I want to see. Because that one's more interesting. But we'll see what we play against in the next round. All right, final round versus Don Sevi. Don Don Sieve. Sure. Uh, technically got two lands. We've got an inside out. It should be fine. Might ponder first. Well, it depends what I draw. It depends what they're on. Interesting. <laughs> I've never seen that card played in my life. Okay. I do not know what is what is going on already. Um, I guess we ponder. Now we can shuffle away the garbage. Still unblockable. They're all pretty good, actually. I still got to shuffle away. So I guess I put... Hmm, do I put... I want Preordain. But I have to shuffle, because I need to hit a land. I guess I don't want to escape Tunnel. Okay. Black burn. Okay. <laughs> As I said, we uh, we beat the white decks. We lose to the black decks. So we'll we'll see how this goes. It might, it might be Control, it might be Blackburn, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it's definitely Blackburn, okay. 
they run edicts. So I th think we play this archaeologist first to bait out an edict. And then I can have, well, Muddle or Lauren's escape. Yeah, take four. Side out. All right, well, I need to get another land. Play tribe. We'll pass. We hope it does not die. I think that's fine. That is fine. Seventeen is still doable. That we will muddle. Just because it costs the most mana. Hopefully they don't do it again. Which they do. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, so now we brainstorm first. Uh, don't need that or the land we shuffle preordain yep don't want either of those Balaji, I guess I play. Just don't hit a tribe, please. I'll right, we'll take Brainstorm. I may be dead. But yeah, it's it's like the white matchup where they had double journey. I just didn't have the double counter spell. I could have waited one more turn, but they've got pressure on, so. Return Piranha Marsh. <laughs> okay, now I need to hit both Tribe and uh, just Peak first. I want to see what they're working with. Another removal spell? Three lands, okay. So now we can brainstorm. Uh, put back. Don't think I need Lawrence escape anymore. I've got counter spells. Now we island cycle this to shuffle them away. Then we brainstorm. Nothing. Keep the white out. Play this. We'll shuffle. Yep.
All right, so, can, so we're down to four. That might have drawn something relevant. Oh, yeah, sure. That's fine. Something. Can't trip. <laughs> All right. It's like I'm just countering whatever. Circular logic. Didn't know what sort of pressure they had. So, yeah, I couldn't really take a turn off to tribe. I had to hope they just had one removal spell. Land? I mean, not land. Yeah, okay. I shouldn't have said land. I'll just scoop because... Uh, I can't beat this fruit. I'll see what else they've got. I need to hit a cantrip to try to dig for another tribe. Was what I really needed there. Yeah, then they fruit me. Yep. All right. GG. Okay. Um. Do I try for the combo still? I think so. I'll bring in Lauren's Escape. I'll take out Spell Pierce. Uh, but they might have Edict still. Although I didn't see any, but they might side into some. I'm not entirely sure what Mono Black Burn actually runs anymore. Take out Wedding Invitation. I think Giga Draz is mainly only for the counter spell decks. And I think Mystic's too slow, so I think I have to go for the Tribe win. Maybe I should have cut Deep Analysis. Uh... Weird combination of cards, but we'll keep. Preordain first, and then brainstorm. Just got to try to find another land at this point in time. Oh, look at that. Still need a inside out, though. So... On top, on top. Could Brainstorm put these two on top, mill them with Vajali for next turn? Bijali. I think that's good. It's bad for my mana, but or I can at least like get rid of Should at least get rid of white out. It's pretty useless in hand.
Oh, well, there's Inside Out. No counter spell though. Guess it doesn't really matter what I put on top, does it? Alright, I don't think I'm dead just yet, so we'll play for Jali, we'll mill all this stuff. Bring back circular logic. Pass. And then I've got one counter spell. And hopefully that's enough. <laughs> sure. Get rid of the circular logic. Yeah. Yep. Alright, I got a couple more turns. They're gonna to try to find another counter spell. Escape tunnel doesn't really help me. I don't think I need to make anything unblockable. So I'll just cantrip here to see if I can... I guess a land helps for... Casting that deep analysis next turn. Take one. What else you got? Okaba. Yeah, take four. Take three. Take one. Yeah, there's Okaba. Alright, well. I think I'm dead either way, so I think I just got to play that and hope. I could discard this and... I think I've... I just got to pass. Pass and hope. Down to six. Down to two. All right, well. I've got to find a counter spell here. I just killed my own archaeologist. <laughs> oh, dispel useless. Uh, GG. I can't, yeah, I can't do anything. Dispel, please work. We lost to the black deck. They got rid of our one counter spell. Even though I drew another one, it wasn't relevant. If it was. Spell Pierce it would have got there. The only time Dispel is not relevant. Against... Like, no one uses Sorcery Speed interaction. <laughs> uh... Woo. Alright, let's... Let's wrap this thing up. Okay. Uh, so, that was... Experience. <laughs> we went 3 2. We beat the white decks. So we beat Hexproof twice. One of which we just really. I think we scraped through on both of those, to be honest. Uh, white Weenie, but that was pretty easy. And then we lost to the two black decks. Gardens seems like. Oh no, it wasn't Gardens, it was Fae. Uh, Blue Black Fae seems like a nightmare because 
snuff it. It's just so hard to deal with. Uh, and we lost to Blank Burn uh, only because I needed to mulligan too hard. I can't remember. I just couldn't find the. Oh, they ripped my counter spell out of my hand. Uh, I just needed one counter spell to be able to survive. Well, I needed two counter spells each time, I think. So, yes, the, when they got a quick clock, you need to try to put pressure on, but if they've got the removal, they've got the removal. So, uh, decks about what it was before. Like, you still have some sweet, uh, like, turn two lines, tribe into inside out. Um, I liked peak. Peak was cool. Um, escape tunnel did its job. I feel like it's a staple going forward. It's it's hard to figure out because like it's fit into the land base now, so you can trim up on these wedding invitations. But sometimes you actually need to use this as a fetch land because you've brainstorm locked yourself, for example. So then you've lost your um unblockability when wedding invitation like it replaces itself and then just sits around and does nothing waiting for the point that it's useful so maybe we still need to go up on these and have to trim another cantrip unsure it's tribe it's um, it's it's like um uh what's blitz it's like Kiln Fiend. It's like it just relies way too much on one creature and dies to a snuff out. <laughs> At least this deck has counter spells, unlike um, <laughs> Blitz, but it's Blitz with blue cards. I mean, come on, let's be serious. It's it's still fun. Um, you get to live the dream of beating people down for... Oh, we, hit a, we hit someone for 40, which I think was pretty cool. Uh, anyway... Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.